In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for BH3. This is called boron trihydride. Sometimes it's called borane. So we'll start with our Lewis structure. The first thing you'll notice is that boron has two, four, only six valence electrons around it. Boron is an exception, so it's okay with just six valence electrons. Each hydrogen has two valence electrons. So the hydrogens, they're bonded to the boron there. We have three hydrogen atoms. And you can imagine they're all pushing away from each other, and that's what's going to give us our molecular geometry for BH3. Let's take a look at a visualization of that. So the central atom, the purple, that's the boron. We're going to add three hydrogen atoms. We add one, two. They push away, spread out to be as far as they can away from each other. We add the third hydrogen right there. And that gives us what we call a trigonal planar molecular geometry. You can see it's in this plane here. The bond angles between the atoms, between the hydrogens, those are going to be 120 degrees. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So if we couldn't visualize the molecular geometry for BH3, we could do two other things. One, we could look at the steric number. We see we have one, two, three hydrogens and no lone pairs. Steric number is three. So if we look at this chart here, we'll see that for a steric number of three with zero lone pairs, we come down and here we have trigonal planar. Bond angles here, about 120 degrees, probably exactly 120 degrees. The electron geometry, since there aren't any lone pairs involved, steric numbers three, again, the electron geometry will be just like the molecular geometry, trigonal planar. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. If you're asked to do that, A, that's the central atom. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the central atom. We have one, two, three, those three hydrogens. And E, that's going to be the lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs. Sometimes it's written as zero. You would either then look up AX3 or have it memorized that that's trigonal planar. This is Dr. B with the molecular and electron geometry for BH3. Thanks for watching.